Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to add multiple text information next to our task bars in our Microsoft Project Gantt chart. So if you're at this video you're probably already aware that Microsoft Project by default will only allow you to add one piece of information in particular positions in relation to the taskbar. So just to briefly demonstrate that, if I go to my format tab on my ribbon, my format button and maybe bar styles to demonstrate this. In here if I select the type of bar I want such as task and in the bottom half maybe go for the text tab, they have different positions in relation to the bar where you can add text information but it will only allow you to add one piece so instead of resource names I can choose a different piece of information but I can only add one other piece of information so I could for example choose uh, I don't know the, the, the star instead but that will be my only option if I try to for example click on the end and put a comma and say oh, can you add notes as well it will moan at me and say no I can't accept that so only one piece of information so what we're going to look at doing is creating a concatenated field with the information that we want to display uh, as a new field and then using that to kind of get around this situation so if I cancel this box for the moment and staying on this format tab we're going for custom fields. Now if you've never created your own field in Microsoft Project before there's a lot of potential that can be made from this. But for now we just want to create a concatenated field. So in these list of text fields they provide I'm going to go for formula just below that. I'm going to select the option and click formula and what I'm going to decide that I want is I would like to display the name of the task and also the percentage complete to the right of each taskbar. So I'm going to create a field with both them pieces of information in it. So at the bottom here I can go for the field that I'm after. This will drop down the list of different fields available to me. And if I move to the text category I should see the option for the task name, simply known as name. And I'll choose that and then click my concatenation operator, this kind of ampersand down below, back into field. Actually, sorry, just before I go back into field, I want to concatenate a text string onto that as well because I'd want a comma to separate the task name and the percentage complete. So I'm going to put uh, some double inverted commas in there, comma space, closing double inverted commas, and then another concatenation operator to join further information onto that. And that is when I'll go for the field, the number category, and percentage complete. So the task percentage complete. And I will continue to concatenate after that because that will come across as a number. So it will just simply say 25 or 50 or 100. I want it to display 100%, 50%. So I will concatenate on the end a percentage symbol. Uh, probably, uh, no, that's, that's quite happy with that. I'll click OK to create this field and say OK to this message and then probably look at renaming that field. So instead of it being called text1, I will call it task name and percentage. Click OK. Now I have my own text field now that displays the task name and the percentage. See if I click OK to save and close this box. I can now look at adding that new field next to my task bars. 
So back into the format button, bar styles, and this time at the bottom I'll go for my text tab and look at position it to the right where most people will position this text. And I'll look for my new field which is called uh, task name, task name percentage. Notice I can still search for it as text one as well. It's it is aware that it's a custom field. You can see just below it knows it by the name text one and the name I gave it. So if I choose the name I gave it, that would be more logical. Click on OK, and now it displays the task name, the comma space, and the percentage next to each taskbar. So I'm able to display multiple items of information. I could have displayed more if I wanted to, if I wanted to display cost or finish variance or anything else that I have uh, going on data wise my project you could display by creating your own field it's going to get around that kind of project limitation thank you for watching I hope you find this tutorial useful uh, please check out some of our other tips and tutorials at computergaga.com